Since the last host of The Nightly News graduated, I've been the full-time host. I never knew that I would care so much about a college news show, but I fell in love with the news and the people. Charlotte is an amazing field reporter and a great friend. David, the station manager, is a nice guy. He does lock himself out a lot, though. Aria has been on the show for a while, but she doesn't seem to enjoy it. And of course, there's Raven, and she's... She's nice. Jason is our intern. At least, I think he is. He seems to just disappear some days. Riley is our producer. She's a hard worker, but she can get a little excited sometimes. Overall, working here is great. The news is important, and being the host of Nightly News is the most important thing to me. I love it here. The 421 is still undergoing construction, so plan to add an extra 10 to 15. All right, we're on 10. Well, what about my field piece? We don't have time tonight, maybe tomorrow. But I worked really hard Five, on it. Five, four, three, two, one. We're clear. Yes. Woo! Woo! Good job, Fantastic! Woo! Yes. Riley, that was great work. Raven, audio work was on point. And Charlotte, I love that field piece. Jason? That coffee was perfection. Made it myself. I really hope you didn't. <laughs> guys, guys, for our first show, I think that went really well. Nothing caught on fire. That was disappointing. Does that usually happen? Only on good days. <laughs> Intern. Do you guys think David was watching? I'm sure he was. App TV is the only thing he watches in his office. Sam, you did really well. I think everyone did really well. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Sam, was this that mic you were looking for? Jason. Jason. Oh, you is that the audio? Oh wait, no. This. These are my headphones. <laughs> my bad. All right, guys. I'm so proud of you all, but I'm starving right now. Is anyone else hungry? Yes. Come on, let's go I get some food. Is that a question? Right now. Like, Riley? Like, Can I see you in my office, please? Uh, sure. Thank you for coming. Yeah, I mean, of course, you just asked The me. reason I called you in my office today is to talk about the show. Okay. You put on a great show. Great audio, excellent camera work, impeccable content. Well, thank you. I, I think I've been managing my time much better because of this new app. We're going to have to make some changes. What? And at the risk of sounding too dramatic, drastic changes. I've been a reporter here longer than anyone, and it's just, it's so hard to stay in the game when you don't feel valued. Or, whatever. Actually, I don't care. I don't. Everything okay? Can we just go home, please? Sure. But, can we get ice cream first? Sure. You know in the production class where I tell the prospective interns that AppTV is a place to explore and experiment and ratings don't matter? Yeah? Malarkey. What? It's an expression, like fiddlesticks? No. Dadgummit? No. Queen of England? Stop. Are you saying that ratings matter? I mean, this is a college station. That's true, but right now our Snapchat has more followers than our entire cable system, and we can't keep putting dog filters on religion and life. So, what are you suggesting we do? No. 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 Nope. I'm, I'm sorry. You can't tell me that you're actually considering this. It's already done. He's coming in the morning. No, it's not ideal. He gets tens of thousands of views on every video he posts. Just yesterday, he vlogged taking the trash out, 
28,000 views. We need the brand appeal. If you'll excuse me, I think that I'm going to go dry heave in the elevator. Take this. Thank you. You're welcome. But what was in here? It was taco truck. Jeez. For a little over four years now, I've been the general manager of AppTV. That means I have to make some unpopular decisions sometimes. All these decisions have to benefit the channel, but more importantly, the students. I really think you guys are overreacting. It didn't seem like it would be that drastic of a change. Drastic? We're getting a new host. Not a new host. We're just sampling someone, trying them out for a little while to see if we like them, you know? Who is it? He's... He's a live streamer. Are you serious? Well, maybe he'll have some experience. Live streaming takes a lot of work. See? Have you told Sam? In a sense, I told her everything that she needed to know. You don't think she deserved to know? Whatever is as painless as possible for everyone is what I will do. Besides, like I said, it's not a big deal. No, I'm not nervous. Sadie said she talked to David about some minor adjustments, and I'm excited. I mean, I've been hoping for some new... What the? Yo, what's good? It's your boy Gordon Blue bring that pop pop da, 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 to the FGV bill. Hey, you can't park there. Hey, hey, hey. Give Sorry, me what? You can't uh, did you see the blinker, good. sweetheart? That's the international sign for cut me some slack. Thank you very much. Sweet wit, bring that pop da, da, da. da, da, da. You need to have some respect. Oh, shoot, they got TV too. I'm gonna be on that. I'm gonna be on that. Those second floor radio people, I mean, they'll just take anyone. Oh, I'm so sorry, Manners. This is my boy, Roberto. He's my bodyguard. You see him wearing the black and you wearing the white? Together with salt and pepper. That's what's up. S and peace. S and peace. Oh, shoot. I feel bad for whoever has to work with that or put up with all of that energy. Oh, my gosh. It's your boy Blue. It's your boy Blue coming through. I'm liking this cameraman. He got some fat beats. Oh, <laughs> awkward. <laughs> uh, did you enjoy the stairs? <laughs> Nerd. So, yeah, where's the boss man, anyways? He told me to meet like. Oh, shoot. Uh, what, we early. What that is weird. I'm never early. I'm always fashionably late. <laughs> Are you looking for the radio department? Uh, no. I'm not looking for the radio department. That's how you sound, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm looking for the boss man. You seen him? I'm trying to get paid. I don't know who the boss man is. The boss man. But I've you never know, seen you David, before. So I doubt you David. Even here. David. David. Thank you. <laughs> Faster, please. Oh, that's just water? I usually get day right with these things. Who is that? What is he doing well, I here? I guess I'll wait. <laughs> I've never seen him before in my life. Hi, Mr. Blue. Uh, please take a seat. Uh, Mr. Blue. Yo, what's uh, good, Doc? Okay. Uh, Mr. Blue. Please, Mr. Blue is my father. You can call me Gordon Blue. Gordon Blue? Like the food? Exactly. exactly. See, my client is like chicken cordon bleu, okay? Because he doesn't have beef unless you want it, okay? When the ladies see him, they be cheesing. And he goes ham on them news headlines. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, uh, Mr. Mr. Blue, we're very excited to have you with us. I I'm sorry I didn't catch your friends' names. Oh, no trip, dog. These are my ride or die associates. On my left, we got Earl. He's my manager and a social media wizard. Nice to meet you. And he's currently not here right now, but my boy, Boberto, he's my bodyguard, and he's always there for me on command. Check this out. Blah! I like that. Sup? What? My boy's good, isn't he? Yes! 
Very. He left with my chair. Anyway, I pre I appreciate you taking the time to come down and and meet with me, but we have some we have some things to discuss first. Oh, right, you are. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk green, homie. Uh, that's great. We're actually environmental advocates here at App State. No, dude, I'm talking paper. You know, cheddar. Uh, you mean currency? Well, I suppose I could do Bitcoin. Take five for a sec, dog. Uh, yeah, that should work. Uh, I'm sorry, I, th I, I thought I notified your manager, uh, Earl, please. Earl, that this would be a trial broadcast. Test the waters, so to speak. Uh, see if you're a good fit here at the channel, and if you are, then we can discuss the opportunity for some kind of payment. Do you hear that? H hear what? It's the gravy train. Chugga, 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 cha-ching! Oh, all right, that's en that's enough for now. You, you, please, go. All right. It's been real. It's been real, Dob. Um, sh sure. Can we stop? Okay. Uh, we have a staff meeting in an hour that you you need to be at. Oh yeah, I'll for sure be at that that thing. Uh, yeah. Uh, take it easy, home slice. Deuces. Bye. I guess. It was nice meeting you, sir. Ah! Who is that guy? Please tell me he isn't the sampler. For the new vending machine? Right? Yeah, right. Is he taking Sam's job? What? Raven! I'm sorry. Is he, the new guy, taking Sam's position? Resume speak. And I was all like, you're gonna get left hooked to the dome once I take off my flannel. I ain't kidding. Oh, what's up, tell folks? It's your boy Gordon Blue. <laughs> Are you taking Sam's job? You know it. No, no, no. Guys, it's a temporary thing. It's a trial host. <laughs> the only thing under trial here is the interior decorator of this building. What we got here, like a, a stale bowl of mac and cheese Picasso? <laughs> Actually, I think the person that should be on trial here is your fashion designer. Riley, you knew Rogue. about this? To be fair, I don't understand him, so knowing about him is hard. Riley, am I gonna be replaced? Oh, for sure, for sure, yeah. Anyways, I got the Tunley Rumblies. I think it's time for a vape break. Vape break! Let's roll, homie. I can't believe you didn't tell me about him. Look, I told you everything you needed to know to keep this running smoothly. Does this feel smooth? <sighs> well, maybe he... No. His experience no. might... It's okay. No. Okay. Why am I interested in the nightly news, you ask? Well, full disclosure, off the record, I'm not interested in the nightly news. And uh, we're changing some things up around here. I ran a pretty tight ship around here these last four years. The key is consistency. The same thing every day. We go live at 8, but we have a dress rehearsal at 6. This is a dying industry, and I honestly think it's headed in the three T's, you know? Twitter, Twitch, and TikTok. Is that three or four? I don't know. I'm absolutely famished, fam. So we're just letting some YouTube streamer co-host the show now? Baberto! Um, I'm suspended from YouTube for reasons I cannot say. Thanks, my dude. I'm not contractually obligated to say, so I won't. No. Anywho, I... Same things happen every day at the same time. All the time, the same thing every day. I mean, do we not have any morals or guidelines or something? Do you live at Dave and Buster's? I've worn the same suit for four years, never taken it off. I like her. She's spooky like Halloween. You know, weigh your pros and cons. It is what it is. The live television show that you're co-hosting. The same suit, four years, like every day. Consistency is key, every day. All right, this has been a productive meeting. I will see you all tonight, or at least most of you.
I just go with the flow. Where is Gordon? He knows the show starts in five minutes. He's probably at Dave and Buster's. Seriously, Jason. This means a lot to me, and he's gonna ruin it. Hey, don't worry about him. Worry about you. You're right. He's gonna get kicked off the show in a heartbeat, and things are gonna be back to normal. I just need to worry about me. So are we really going through with this? For the hundredth time, yes, Raven. David has been breathing down my neck all day to make this happen. So he must see something in him that no one else does. So at least for tonight, can we all just keep an open mind? I need us all to stay focused so that this can go smoothly with or without him. All right? Places, we're going live. All right, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, four. I'm Samantha Quinn. And I'm Gordon Blue. And you're watching Nightly News. Tonight's story is gonna be off the hook. Tonight's headlines, let me lay them down. Murder, are your cats trying to kill you in your sleep? Buzzfeed, facts, fiction, or both. Tonight on Nightly News. Is he reading off the teleprompter? No, he's just making it up. He's making up the news. I don't like this. Or you. All right, and we're out in three, two, one. We'll be back in one minute. What are you doing? I'm hopping myself down. You're not reading from the teleprompter. The story was about to be about the overflow of intake of kittens at the Humane Society. They're supposed to get adopted, and you just- Made it interesting? What's your point? You told people to tweet sad kitten emojis at you. Exactly. I'm gonna make those little fuzzballs trend. That's not the point. Gordon! <coughs> now! Oh, hey, look. I'm, I'm sorry I exploded on you today. <laughs> you know, I just- I got so upset with him, and I took it all out on you. No, look, I'm really sorry. I should have told you. But I just thought that if you were worried about him, it would make things harder. But by the sound of it, I don't think you'll have much to worry about anymore, so. Really, you don't think he'll stay? I <laughs> stay he disgraced the show. He wasn't even reading the news. I saw what happened tonight. Talked to Gordon about it. Well, it was really nice to meet you. He knows what he did. And he'll be doing it again. What's up, co-host? Come on, y'all. Let's get some boneless chicken nuggets. But first off, where are my peanuts at? You ate them all? What? You little thief, you? What do you mean? I don't understand. Riley. We got 32 views. But don't we have any kind of integrity? Samantha, I mean, 32 views. views. That's more than we've gotten in an entire semester. But this is unprecedented. 32 views. If it means that Chicken Boy has to make a cat meme every now and then, then that is fine by me. 32 views? Were they on cable or Facebook? Lots of engagement from Facebook. Facebook. Guys, guys, guys I really I don't think this is a good didn't idea. Think this would happen in my time here. I mean, hopefully we don't end up using that many cliches this season. I mean, we can't become this just self-referential. Guys?